Mr. Red China, we are not worthy. I squeaked. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> I quite like that. It was him feeling even more manly. <laughs> it's an argument that has been raging in the car world for decades and still strikes up a debate in an industry where manuals are becoming more and more rare. Should you rest your hand on the gear stick? We've all been there, you're cruising along, one hand on the gear stick, the other on the steering wheel, having a good time. But many petrol heads will scream at you, telling you that that will ruin the gearbox over time. More recently, however, people have been challenging that notion, saying that resting your hand on the gear stick actually makes no impact whatsoever. So who's right? Should you not be resting your hand on the gear stick? Let's start with the most popular opinion, being that you shouldn't rest your hand there. The gear stick is connected via a linkage down into the gearbox. At the end of the linkage lies a semicircular ring called a shift fork. A shift fork, when you move the gear stick, presses up against a slider gear, which, along with a synchro, contacts first, second, whatever gear you are selecting. Now, the popular train of thought is that by resting your hand on the gear stick, you apply pressure down through the linkage and to the shift fork, smooshing a static shift fork against a moving metal component. That's gonna wear down over time and could result in a buggered shift fork. Worst case scenario, a shift fork breaks and you either lose a gear or even worse, get stuck in a gear. And now for the more controversial side of things. Many people now believe that resting your hand on the gear stick actually has no effect at all on your transmission. The thinking behind that is that the linkage is made up of numerous components and even on a brand new transmission, there's going to be a natural give between all the parts of the gear linkage. The amount of pressure you apply by placing your hand on the gear stick is so small that all it's really gonna do is be soaked up by the give within the linkage. So to settle all this, I've decided to enlist possibly the most famous TV mechanic of all time and also a personal hero of mine. Mr. Red China, we are not worthy. So you're gonna be the judge, jury and executioner on this subject. Okay. Is it bad for your car's transmission to hold the gear stick while you drive? It makes no difference at all. Whether it's automatic or manual, if you hold it in gear even, it's not bad for the gearbox. But the thing is, you should have both hands on the steering wheel, otherwise you are likely to crash horribly in a ball of fire like one of our close friends does regularly when he parks a car. Well, there you go. Settled. Where can I get one of those t-shirts? Greasejunkie.com. They are wonderful and luminous. Thanks, Ed, for helping us out there. But do you agree with what Ed said? Comment down below with what you think.